In this video, we're going to take a look at an overview of how photogrammetry is supported in Unity. There are a few things you'll need to know if you're looking at using photogrammetry in Unity. Firstly, it's worth mentioning that you'll want to be using assets and photos captured and processed with photogrammetry in mind. The photogrammetry workflow in Unity will work well with the built-in Unity renderer, but using the new HD render pipeline will unlock support for layered materials which were used in the Fontainebleau demo shown here. The HD render pipeline is one of the new scriptable rendering pipelines available in Unity 2018.1. In this demo, you can see how combining the power of the new HD render pipeline and using a photogrammetry workflow can give you high fidelity, visually impressive environments inside of Unity and get brilliant results on a variety of different platforms, including consoles. Unity has created a series of unique solutions to some of the complex problems involved with implementing photogrammetry into your project. One of the most notable solutions is the new delighting tool, which allows you to remove lighting information from photogrammetry textures so that the final assets can be used under any lighting conditions. Here we have a model of a wall that has been captured and textured using photogrammetry assets. However, we can see that the back of the wall doesn't seem to be lit properly. This is because when the asset was captured, the back of the wall was in shadow. We need to use the delighting tool to remove this information from the image so that it can be lit properly. The delighting tool is incredibly easy to get started with and use, as you can simply drag and drop the folder containing your asset data for use with the delighting tool straight into the delighting window. As you can see, it quickly computes the data and delights your asset so that the shadows and lighting data are removed, giving you production ready color data. There's also a handy preview you can drag back and forth to view the before and after versions of your texture. After exporting the new texture, you simply have to reassign it to your material. Now that all of the baked lighting has been removed, the object reacts more realistically to the lighting in your scene. One of the main constraints of photogrammetry is the complexity and size issues of texturing multiple unique objects such as rocks. Each rock is its own shape and size and requires its own unique high quality texture for each individual rock. In a larger project, this will cause you to run into memory problems and doesn't scale well at all. As you can see, this shader allows you to work flexibly within the constraints of a project without compromising the quality of your materials. By using the new layered lit tessellation shader included with the HD scriptable render pipeline, you can combine lower resolution photogrammetry textures for your meshes and higher resolution generic tile textures to create more memory friendly materials. You can customize how the different layers influence your material to further control how it looks. Additionally, by adding a layer mask to the material, you can define which layers take preference on your mesh and easily create varieties of the same object with different texture layouts as a result. As you can see, this shader allows you to work flexibly within the constraints of a project without compromising the quality of your materials. Unity is making it much easier for any creator to take advantage of the high fidelity that can be achieved via the photogrammetry workflow through the new innovative editor tools and our in-depth solution guidelines. For more information about photogrammetry in Unity and to find resources on how to get started, be sure to follow the links below.